here that you can see. Um, the lobe, or the lobule, is the ear lobe. That's kind of obvious. What is that? Mm -hmm. What is the ear lobe? Um, this. Is that the oh, the, the bottom so part where you put earrings. So you mean there's like anywhere down? So if you pointed <laughs> it. Matter. Huh? So if you pointed it anywhere down here, you're talking about the... Yeah, I'm it's unlikely not to ask. Test. No, but it's kind of like I have to know here, but I'm not going to ask for that. Um, external auditory meatus, we already know that. That's the, the ear canal. Um, ceruminous glands, remember those? We were talking about them in lecture. They make earwax. Um, you can't see them on the model. They're just kind of lined, this internal auditory meatus. So, um, question. In the middle ear, the tympanic membrane, that's this, it's your eardrum. What is that? The long way? The nerves? <coughs> well, not, not nerves, those are blood vessels, but the plastic piece. Okay, now, right here, see how this? <laughs> So these go together like this. These are the ear ossicles. So the ear ossicles are um, next to the tympanic membrane, and they communicate with this. Um, this is this. So I'm going to use the big one just because it's easier to see. Uh, the, is that the middle ear? Yeah, this is the middle ear. Um, do you see the snail here? Okay, so the head of the snail would be the vestibule, and then the snail shell is the cochlea. Um, on the vestibule, you've got the oval window, it's the oval. <laughs> and then the round window is round. Um, the eustachian tube, back to this model, right here, goes down towards your throat, to the back here, like your pharynx. If you ever gotten like a sore throat and then suddenly your ears feel kind of itchy deep inside, it's because the Infection's kind of moving up the eustachian tube. What is it? Oh, that's the eustachian tube. Yeah, that's the eustachian tube. Same thing as internal meatus, internal auditory meatus. No, the internal auditory meatus is where the nerve is going to be going in. This is heading into your pharynx, into your, like, right into your back ears. So it's is it even deeper? Hmm? Um, not, not necessarily deeper, but just not in the same place. It's not going into the, into the brain. It's going into your behind, right behind. Um, the auditory ossicles, we already did those in the bones, I'm not going to ask them again, um, but there they are, you know, the malleus, the incus, and then the stapes sits on the oval window, so just FYI, I'm not going to ask them again. Um, the bony labyrinth or the osseous labyrinth is just everywhere where you have bone. Um, it's kind of more important when we get to this model, like we already talked about when we talked about the fluids that you have the perilymph inside the bony labyrinth. The membranous labyrinth is the membranes inside of here, and inside of there is endolymph. So that's where we said perilymph is out here, endolymph is in here. Is this bone? Yeah, this is the, the bone. So bony labyrinth, <coughs> membranous labyrinth. Okay, and what's the blue? Um, those are just nerves. Oh, uh, okay. Nerves. Oh, so the, this thing is the bone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's part of this. You look inside here, you see how See a little tiny circle? And it looks just like this, small. That's where that came from. Um, in the vestibule, again, um, you've got, see how there's two kind of areas, this area and then this bottom area? The top one is the utricle, and the bottom one is the saccule. Inside of there, both of those are sensory receptors called the maculae. See that little piece of pen's candy right there? That's the maculae. Um, the snail's big round ears, those are the semicircular canals. And see how they get kind of bulgy at the bottom? That's called the ampulla of the semicircular canal. And inside of there is a sensory receptor called crista ampullaris. So if I pointed there and asked for the sensory receptor inside of here, it would be crista ampullaris, but you can't see it. How did you describe the semicircular canal? Big round. Thanks. Thanks for